In this lesson, I want to explain how to import a picture as a background, for example, like this blueprint for beginning your modeling. This tool was in viewport layout that I promised to teach you in this lesson, the separate lesson. In this tool, we need some other tool for uh, inserting them and um, align them to uh, better aligning to them and we need some tools that I will be explaining in next lessons in detail don't worry we use move tool and I explain you fast and we use 2d scale tool and we use some snap tool okay we want to approach this uh, alignment of image for doing that first you have to draw your uh, sketch or download a uh, 2d image from for example free website here those image called blueprints here you can download drawingdatabase.com you can download the beautiful and very accurate a nice and clean blueprint here and after that you can align the blueprint plane or image plane like this and start your modeling for approach to those goals we have to uh, draw or separate our blueprints in four view right front back and top and you have to draw your uh, blueprint or drawing very accurate with the exact number and there are all in the same uh, this in the same length okay you have to first draw your uh, blueprint very accurate and clean and nice and then import it here and I uh, learn I, and I teach you how to import it for beginning going to the file new I know I my blueprint is in, in a meter simply going and large this is a Ford old Ford machine and I need a large meter or you can go in a centimeter not very important okay new and first we import in the top going to the viewport we have a add a picture plane here it's the tool it is in a standard also going here and it's also here add a picture plane when you open it a window will be pop up that you have to go to your cutting blueprint that you cut it into four view and insert them for example i in the top view I need a top and double click or click open and here this is a tool setting you have to determine in which method you want to insert your photo or image here in one to one it means the any scale that your image is insert here just simply click oh sorry we have to first select it the first thing you learn for applying or execute the last command in a rhino you hit right click as you can see the last command will be execute again double click the top first click on one to one and simply click as you can see it is the exact dimension of the image in a real here as you can see in the top we have a small image this is in a pixel but also it is very small in meter this is one to one delete it right click to execute or call again double click in the top here we can use three point for example when your mouse over any viewport is automatically active three point one two and the three point is here you can uh, go in your mouse uh, on any 
direction and for example in the right you can uh, insert your image in this scrolling in this situation this is three points if you need right click double click here another method is vertical it is for uh, doing a perspective as you can see when you first click and second click you can import your image plane here right click double clicking on top another method is center so for 2d image or 3d is not important first click and second click as you can see you can uh, draw your uh, image from center to its core it is another method right click another method is around the curve for example simply when you want to cancel your comment hit escape in the keyboard or click here cancel i draw a curve here you simply click here i will teach you all of these these settings or common detail don't worry click 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 and when you want to finish your curve or comment do right click click on this when the, the gumball will be active you can click on any control point and change your position of your curve in 3d you can insert your image plane uh, along this curve go into the data tool add a picture plane double click your plane and first you have to assign uh, we have to specify which method you want around curve the software to tell you please select a curve select your curve and here you can draw your first point and click and drag for second as you can see <clears throat> your image will be draw or insert align this curve okay this is another method for doing that we want to default mode right click double click simple click and click down it's very interesting and finish you insert your uh, image very simple another thing that i want to tell you this is very sharp angle double click it's a very sharp color if you want use and uh, you want to see your background you for example if i draw a curve on it it's very hard to see that i want to add a transparency to it click click on it going to its material and here i will t explain all of these materials detail don't worry just know that we have something called transparency and increase that as you can see you can see through the image and we can uh, draw our curve very easily another interesting thing about this if you set the transparency to zero you can <clears throat> delete the color that you select for example i want to delete this image that is in a png or jpeg to the mm, this is jpeg to the png i mean we can delete all of this white color and just keep the black line <clears throat> for doing that this is something called color mask if you enable it here you have to choose which color you want to remove i want to remove this white you can choose a white here or color click and drag on the color picker i choose a white to okay and if you want to correct these issues turn um increase your tolerant as you can see you can simply do this way you're playing and remove your white color okay i don't like this i just want to the transparency and this is my plane okay the second step for that we have to as we, as you saw as as you see in this image from this distance back to front of the machine is 4.8 meter and we have to set that the second thing 
when you for example uh, draw I, I teach you a single line you can simply click and click to draw a simple line as you see in a mouse we have an indicator that shows us uh, <clears throat> how much line distance we will travel from the drawing it's off in default for turning on going to its option rhino option going to the modeling and then cursor to tip and active the distance and hit ok ok for activating that ok first I want to use the first tool I want to use the 2d scale if you select the image for example if you anything uh, selecting in the software when you select a tool the tools ask you please uh, <clears throat> give me the object that I uh, want to scale that you have to select this plane and after that it says okay you select your object press enter okay and now it's ready to scaling that the tool asks you two point first base point second another base point click and the third point you can scale it in 2d okay as you saw those two point are base or uh, indicator actually okay <clears throat> in this mode I want to click here then click here and turn it down to uh, that distance 4.8 meters okay first I need to draw a line exactly on this line with these meters select a line and create exactly line here <clears throat> holding shift to draw as you can see you can choose which number you want for uh, drawing accurate and exact numbers here uh, you don't need anything just type 4.8 and hit enter holding shift holding shift and click and simply we draw an accurate line that exactly is 4.8 meter okay and I draw this line to using for scaling select a scale <clears throat> select that image that I want to scale going here select 2d scale I will be explaining all of them in detail okay the object is selector it asks, asks you first point then second point and scale it to this line for a snapping please snap end and then near end snapping snap to the end of the curve the second snap is snapping to the curve okay first click then holding shift select it here and the second as you can see the second click is for turning down turn scaling down to the that line click and as you can see the line is exactly in a correct distance a correct length okay and now we click and drag from left to right I will teach you this is different to right now for this selecting and uh, a snap a grid a snap we activate that and click and drag to the center as you can see it's not in the center of the machine we want to move that for moving the move tool is here the move tool is here is also when you select that it's as you please select, please identify me a <clears throat> object that i want to move select that hit enter or right click in, in a rhino you land enter for going to the second step for comment is enter or right click when you want to move something turn off the grid when you want to move something as a scale you have to select a base point and then you can move your object here i want to move exactly this center of here to the grid line over here for doing that everything that you want to uh, execute your command in an accurate way please uh, draw a 
line for that. Click here for the draw a line and exactly here I want to move it. And then select the move tool, select your object, right click or enter. Okay, select here if you select, uh, when select the object, if you, if you select here the select to snap to the that line, click and simply move the object because of we have a draw a line and we turn on the snap, it snap exactly that way. We use this indicator curve for our moving in accurate way. As you can see, the center of the software is exactly at the center of the image. Okay, the first image will be insert correctly, just we have to identify the right front view. For doing that, please just uh, draw a simple box. Click first, second, third, and another click for uh, make it 3D, going to the here and shade it. Okay, as you can see, this is not correct. We are in the front, it is in the side. So click and drag and you can turn it 19 degree, type 19 and click. Oh, now at this right. This is right, and this is our front. Okay, now it's right. Now we need to insert our right image. Going here or going here, click on that and insert our right image. Simply click and drag, going to select that, going to its material, Increase transparency and as I said before, you have to simply do the same way for making the this line. I don't need to this measurement. I need just this dash line that is the overall length of the machine. This line to this line going to perspective. Okay, going to perspective. I want to this line exactly scale to this line. You know how to do that? Please do that yourself. And uh, simply move the this image to the ground. Going to the uh, right here. For moving this this dash line exactly at the ground. As I said before, simply create a line, for example, from here to here, select uh, your object, going to the move tool, select here and move, Just click. As you can see, our machine wheels exactly at the ground. And do exactly the same way for scaling your uh, this image. And another, you can insert your front and start your modeling. Okay, this is all about add picture plane and you learn some tools very shortly and easily and briefly. I will explain all of them in detail. But for this lesson, you have to learn that. Okay, I hope you enjoy. This is very interesting method for modeling. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.